Hey, what's up guys? This is Angel from PRDV Entertainment. Another tutorial is going to be really simple. I am I did this tutorial. I had somebody that asked me to make this tutorial. So, this tutorial is going to be about Unreal Engine. And let's say maybe that you want to have items on your on your scene, like coins and stuff like that. Uh, how you can add those coins and every time uh, you take one it adds uh, another one so it gives you different totals of coins that that you will have in a moment so this tutorial will teach you guys how to create the simple item how to put it on the scene and how we're gonna work on the event graph so we can always add one plus one every time we overlap with the item I'm gonna add a second item so I'm gonna duplicate the first one but in the second item uh, I'm gonna add a uh, simple note on how we can destroy the object so as soon as you take it it just disappears from the scene now let's create a scene new project I right, pull this up I just downloaded the 4.10 looks pretty nice nothing amazing really I'm gonna use a third person project like always this is easier for us. Okay. Okay, so we got the project open and running. Okay, so like I told you guys, we're gonna work with two objects here, two blueprints, and then I'm just gonna name them items or coins or stuff like that. So I'm gonna create a blueprint class. I'm gonna choose an actor. I'm gonna put uh, coins. I'm gonna put coins. Okay. So I'm going to get inside this blueprint and I'm going to add a collision. I'm going to use this sphere. Put here collision. Same process. I'm going to add a mesh. I'm going to add a static mesh. I'm going to do a mesh. So let me choose the mesh. I'm going to choose the cube. I'm going to choose. Uh, I don't know, any material really. So I'm gonna pull this down, it's too big. There we go. Material for this one. Um, okay. That's weird. No material? Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna rotate this. I'm gonna add a rotating movement for it. There we go. And now I'm gonna go to the event draft. Now on the event graph, I'm going to delete the begin play and also the begin tick. I will need them. And here on the event actor begin overlap. Here's one to go. Here's where we're going to do the tricks. Now, like I told you guys, every time we overlap, we're just going to be adding one plus one. So for this, we need to create a variable. I'm going to choose an integer here. Integer. Here we go. I'm going to put amount coins to the name I'm public and I'm going to compile this so I can get the options so now uh, we need to set this we need to set this here so from here every time we overlap he's going to set an amount but for that we need to tell him first how much the amount is going to be so we need to get first the current amount that we have on this variable that right now is zero. And for this, we're just gonna tell them that it's gonna be integer plus integer. And as you can see, he's gonna be adding one only. For the amount that it has that is zero, it's gonna be plus one. And the total is gonna be set once again to the amount of coins so if right now is zero and you overlap the item it's going to add one to it so it's going to be only uh, the amount of one he's going to set it and if you overlap again he's going to get the coins but he's not going to detect that it's zero he's going to detect that it's one so he's going to add another one and he's going to set it once again and there's going to be uh, two for the amount and it keeps going on like that uh, so I'm going to print it on the screen, uh, print text on the screen, 
And I'm going to set this so he can tell us how much he has already for the amount. So let's put it on the scene. Let me compile. Let's put the item here on the scene. Let's pull it up. Let's hit the play. Let's get to the item. So there we go. He's showing two, three, four, five. Every time we overlap. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So now, what if we just want to add one only? That maybe is something on the floor you just want to pick it up. You want to destroy it. You don't want to, to have it on the scene once you pick it up. I'm going to put this one. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm just going to duplicate another one. I'm going to put coins through that. That's fine like that. So I'm just going to work with the size. Smaller. There we go. Well, close. I'm going to put the other one here. So let's say that this is on the floor. Okay? So let's go to the event graph. And let's say here that he is going to add one only. And after printing the text, let's say he's going to destroy the mesh, the component. Destroy component. Oh my god, mesh. There we go. I'm going to compile. Now we're going to get to that item. Oops, and it's dead. But as you can see, we got we still got the collision here around. So we need to check that out. I'm going back. I'm going to check this out. Destroy component rotating movement. Okay, so he wants to destroy like. Only parts of it, and that's the thing that we don't need. Oh my god. A little rusty today for this. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Destroy company retaining, no, that's part of blueprint the mesh is also part of it oh my god I saw it here it is this reactor oh my god let me put it once again destroy actor there we go and it's gonna be itself okay so let's go once again and there we go. So it has destroyed completely. No mesh, no rotating movement, no collision, no nothing. And for this one, it's still adding every coin, cube, box, whatever we have here. It's a freaking cube. Well, guys, this is something really easy. I hope uh, it helped a lot of people here trying to make things disappear on their zine. Uh, nothing. Write a comment. On the box below, this is Andrew from PRDB Entertainment. I'll be trying to make more tutorials for this week so we can put everything up to date. Bye.